Hi guys, today we'll be doing a little trash to treasure. We'll be transforming a wooden side table that was uh, gifted to me uh, by a customer actually. She didn't need it anymore and it was in a quite the, the sorry shape so I needed a little transformation. We'll be using fusion mineral paint which we carry in the shop just to uh, give it a little facelift and a transformation. So follow along and I will list everything that we used in the video in the com in description down below so if you wanted to get the products you can we carry most of the products in store in oakville or we have them online as well so the first step for me will be to clean it with uh, fusion tsb to so give it a good good scrub it's a very old piece so there's a lot um, of dirt on it and also you can see I've already started to sand it, so I'm going to use my orbital sander to give the top a really good sanding, mainly because it has all of these scratches. So I want to smooth them out as much as possible before I paint so I can get a nice smooth finish. So basically um, with the TSP it's two capsules and a liter of water and then just scrub, scrub, scrub. I will then sand it with the orbital sander, which I've pro probably done a little bit more. And then there, I'll probably do a, lot, a bit more. And then um, there's this little chip here. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of Bondo to fill it in um, so that it's not that visible. It's right in the front. Um, and then. I will be painting it with the new color by Fusion Mineral pa uh, Paint, which is Goddess Ashwagandha. And then I want to replace these dated knobs with a little bit of bling. So I think that will look just amazing with this new color. And this is um, a little bit of a different piece. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It could be a side table, it could be a night table, it could even be a little bench. And it has a really interesting opening here that could also be great for shoes. So you can use it in an entranceway, it has a big um, uh, uh, drawer here. So it's going to be an interesting piece, I'm kind of excited to work on it. Mostly excited about that bling because I have a big crush on blingy hardware so this is our next project so i'm just going to do some sanding light sanding and just keep feeling it until it's smooth and then i will fill that in with bondo and i may show you how to do it just because it's not a very big chip but i feel like it's going to be very noticeable and um i like to finish my pieces as smooth as possible so I think this will be very noticeable. So this is Bondo, what um, I use to repair. So there's a chunk missing, like I mentioned, of this table, and we I wanna fill that in. So basically it's a two-part process, um, and um, you kind of mix it. It's hard to mix when holding the camera in one hand. So this allows it, it's two parts. So follow the instructions basically on it. I found it at, um, Canadian Tire. Um, you need very little. Um, it's hard to mix a little bit, so I usually like to mix it if I have multiple jobs to do. Um, just being warned, it's very stinky, so wear a mask and well-ventilated area. But yeah, it's, it's rather stinky. So I'm just going to use this and um, just basically fill it in. Uh, once it dries, and it dries really fast, you can sand it. I try to make it as smooth as possible. And then, oh, I don't think I mixed it as well as I should have. It's going to harden pretty fast. Then it is paintable and you can easily sand it and smooth it out. Um, so I'll just keep filling this until I like the finish. Mm -hmm. 
so that's happened so the front here is actually a different material it's not solid wood it's some type of really thin veneer um, there was some damage to it it had started to bubble like, to bubble up I did sand it however it um, I guess I didn't sand enough so it really bubbled up here after I, I painted it so now I'm just gonna sand down to the actual wood and hope that nothing else happens to it this is the front of the table so it has to be as smooth as possible so I don't like to have any imperfections but guys check out the knob with this color it's amazing look at how sparkly hey guys so an update on this piece I have uh, put two coats of paint on it and I just sanded it down with some 220 and um, just because I like a lot of um, about two or three thin coats instead of a thicker coats on a piece I will put in a one more coat of paint and then sand it down with um, 220 or 400 grit sandpaper to get it super smooth so I will update you soon all right so the final coat is on and it looks lovely and I'm just going to do a little bit of sanding just to make it a little bit smoother with uh, 400 grit sandpaper it's extra fine and I'm just gonna go around and just smooth it out and that's it uh, Pichon has a built-in top coat, so you don't really have to do anything to it. I'm contemplating whether I want to do uh, just a little bit of wax to make it super buttery smooth or polyacrylic. I prefer a little bit of a shine to a Fusion's uh, matte color, but it's also looking really beautiful the way it is. Look at how smooth that is. It's amazing. Anyway, I'll show you a picture of the finished product in a minute. It's almost done. I'm really excited. And she's ready. The paintbrush is just holding that up a little bit just so that it dries. Um, I decided to go with uh, general finishes on top. Just a little light satin coat. Nothing fancy. Um, Fusion definitely does not need a top coat. But I just felt like I always like to put it on just a personal preference anyway now to get stage staged and listed